What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having an awesome Saturday. Hope it's a productive weekend. Try not to let the weekend just slip by. You know, try to do something. Fight that resistance at least a little bit. You know, stop procrastinating. Go do what you need to. Done. I'm going to start saying that at the beginning of every video. Anyways, it's Resume Review Saturday, so that's where you guys send me your resumes. I review them. You only have a few seconds of a recruiter's time or an HR person's time, hiring manager, to get their attention. And so, you know, people are like, does it really matter if I have my education over here or my projects over here? And yes, it does matter. Otherwise, you're just going to get forgotten and you're just going to move to the bottom of the packet. So that's the whole purpose of these videos, to correct those little things that are tedious. I know these videos are kind of long, but they seem to be helping people. I get a lot of messages like, hey, I've been watching your tips and tricks and I've been applying them and, you know, I landed an interview and landed the job, landed. You do send it and I don't get to it right away. It's because there's a little line. Uh, there's a Patreon perk where I'll do it right away. We do your cover letter, LinkedIn portfolio, whatever you need, and then we go over it. And if you want, then I'll feature you in the in the Saturday video. And I also have my own resume and cover letter. They're on my website. They also help support the channel. They've always got me an interview basically wherever I've applied. Now, did I pass the interview? Eh, that's a different story, but they always get my foot in the door. So if you're interested in those, they're on my website. I'd like to say thank you to the patrons that we do have. There's a tier. I shout you out in, in every video. So we got Armand, we got Vlaslo, we got DJ Richie, we got Gary, Dave, Craig. I appreciate all you guys for supporting the channel. It's awesome. I, I feel a lot happier, feel a lot freer, and it's just awesome to be able to do this and like help you guys out like full time. Oh, one more thing, guys. If you like these videos, hit that like. It helps the video do well in the algorithm. And hit that little subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, or just shoot me an email. Or just hop on the Discord link for that's in the description. I'm always there. Got a great group of people there. Would love to have you. Okay, let's jump in for real. Kazito or Stickman, he sent me his resume. He's a viewer from the stream. So let's look at this real quick. He already blocked out everything for me. I appreciate that. Helps a lot with the production time of these videos. So if you're thinking about sending it in, please um, blur out your stuff. So objective. So this is, this is your summary, right? Um, I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Dedicated, motivated, computer engineering graduate. You don't have to capitalize this. Uh, some minor nitpicks here. That's kind of strange. Just put computer engineering graduate seeking junior front end developer in Pixel Cabin. So Pixel Cabin, this is the place that you're applying, I guess. What I would do is leave this and put this in your cover letter, right? Seeking position X. Don't put that on your resume. Put that on your cover letter. So I put dedicated and motivated computer engineering graduate currently seeking fast paced job or something like currently seeking, currently looking for but don't put like specifics, just put like a little bit about you, like dedicated, motivated, currently seeking to utilize my skills with state-of-the-art technology, something like that. All right, software tools. I like how this is organized, but it needs uh, to say that this is like a skills section. So I figure out a way to label this, like objective, and then you have skills, personal projects, work experience. Um, so I'd flip-flop these first off, work experience and por portfolio stuff. I'd flip flop those and they want to see your work experience. You have some work experience, so that's good. Um, and it, I mean, like, it's related to what you're doing. We got online tools, UI, UX, front end skills. Okay, so this formatting is really kind of strange. I'd figure out a way to make this not two columns, and I'd make, well, I don't know. So, like, for example, this spacing here is weird. Um, and then this, you have an indent, so you have Node.js, no and then you've indented it with NPM, and then Express and Faker.js to, like, like sub technologies. What I would do is figure out a way to organize this. Maybe have uh, software tools, that's good. UI, UX, yep, that's good. Front end. You have a lot of skills. This is a lot of stuff. If you're gonna list them like this, it's it's you don't have to label them as, as like sub-skills. I think anyone that's hiring for the position will know that these are sub-skills just by looking at them. Like everyone knows, if you know CSS and you know what SAS is, you know that SAS is a sub-skill or a preprocessor of CSS. Uh, people will just know this. We have online tools, GitHub, GitLab. What about, okay, so you have Git, um, I would put bit, Bitbucket there, add Bitbucket, it's not that hard to learn, even if you've never messed with it, go go to the website and then you can put that on here, because it's almost the same as GitHub and GitLab. Uh, Gitter, so these are online tools, I don't know if Gitter and Slack count as, like I would take these Gitter and Slack off, these are just communication tools, everyone knows how to use Skype, that's what, these are just communication tools. WordPress, online tool. I don't know if I'd put that. I'd probably, unless you have a project to show for, I wouldn't put this on here, unless you know the company's using WordPress in some way. Uh, Mobile-friendly, responsive web. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put like a soft skill, APIs are not necessarily a back-end skill, unless you're like creating APIs. But if you're connecting to APIs, or like, what about like REST and SOAP and AJAX? Like, why not include that on here too? Um, so I would consider that. Uh, all right, so you have a link. That's good. See GitHub. That's good. I don't know why you would. Have a little dash and say see 
GitHub here, but not just make this a clickable link that just goes to the GitHub. Another thing, you have a code pen, no sounds, Udemy course, exercise, color game. I don't necessarily know if I would say, hey, this is a copied and pasted course from Udemy. Like, no one needs to know that, number one. And then if you've modified it enough, it's not even the same project anymore. But if you put that there, they're going to think about it. It won't matter how much you've modified it. You just copied and pasted it. So I would remove that 100%. Game build with HTML, CSS, jQuery, JavaScript. Okay, that's good. Um, and there's a link to the code pen. Maybe put this code pen on GitHub. And that seems like more. This code pen is like a code pen, right? It looks like you're kind of just playing around. People don't typically use code pen as a portfolio, or I've never seen it. It's always the GitHub. So put whatever you have on a GitHub, and then just go host this somewhere. Make a GitHub page for this where they can go see it. To help attract more customers. So I would rephrase pro project for my client's mechanical business to help attract more customers. I would, I would include outcomes. They need to see outcomes here, like you did a project to, to help get more people, but did you get more people? And if so, did you increase people by 20%? Did you get 15% more people? Did you get 300 people? Like what were the outcomes here? Be sure to include your outcomes with these projects. Showcase, okay, uh, you can't really count a portfolio as a personal project. Um, I mean, you, it's not good. It's not good to do that when you already have work experience. I wouldn't count the, the site that's hosting these projects as a project, it seems kind of it seems pretty meta to do that, um, or gram grammatical error. HTML5, CSS3, JavaScript, jQuery, and PHP. Our codes is used. Our codes? You mean programming languages used? Is used? What is? It? I'm not sure. Plan to add more content. The more knowledge. I don't I don't know what that means. Some grammatical problem. Website consists. This is singular. This needs to be like consists currently, like in the present form. Work experience, software engineer, trainee. I don't know if I put trainee. Trainee doesn't sound that good. I'd put intern or, yeah, maybe just junior software engineer. Uh, I mean, the difference between junior intern and trainee is very little except for title and your, like the willingness for them to maybe give you more stuff as you gain more experience. Studied the senior trainer HTML JavaScript given assignments. What does that mean? Yeah, you need to explain. I don't know what this means. Like I'm reading it for some. I'm looking at it, not sure what that means. Someone else is going to think the same thing. Use Visual Studio Code to build a web project portfolio. It includes six pages. You don't have to li list the actual six pages. Um, I would just put web portfolio and then have a link to, to go to that portfolio. Um, or maybe just make this a hyperlink so that you can do that. Utilizes the terminal with git bash.exe. You don't have to you don't have to say git bash.exe as like the actual program name. You could just be like utilize Unix commands for version control with GitLab. Utilize Slack to communicate. Take this off. Irrelevant. You're going to have to communicate no matter what. doesn't matter what the medium is. Anyone can figure out how to use Slack in five minutes. You can't really put that as a skill. I would maybe rephrase that to say look into computer issues with Geek Squad may have solving clients requests. Not sure what that means. This is some grammatical errors like what I would put engage with customers into their computer issues solving I don't know, IT problems or something. Diagnose and help update Geek Squad's website by adding new pictures using Visual Studio Code. Don't, I mean, uh, you don't need to put by adding new pictures because it's like, oh, what did he update? Oh, well, that sounds kind of, oh, adding new pictures. Okay, so we just changed some URLs in HTML. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, like, Dean's List, take that off. It's irrelevant. I mean, people think that it's good, right? But it's, it's kind of irrelevant. Everyone just wants to know if you can do the work. Like, if you are, like, maybe a doctor or something, I don't know, and you need that to, like, get into med school, the other school cares about like a previous school experience but like a job doesn't care they just want to know can you do the job i don't know if i would put this i think i would just take this off just leave your education and if they wonder how you learned all of this stuff just say self-taught your project should, should speak for yourself in that you know these technologies i would just take this off Udemy in some people's eyes is a great resource, and Udemy in some people's eyes is also like a terrible resource oh he just copies and pastes the same projects as everyone else like to be careful with that. So, I mean, you have a computer engineering degree. If you didn't have any degree of any sort, I'd be like, all right, maybe let's consider it. But seeing as you've already taken all these technical courses, you got Java, digital systems, um, programming C++, you have some relevant stuff, so that's not really needed. And if they want to know how you learn, just say I'm self-taught. Or I figured that out when I needed to make a client a project or something like that. I would just, just, just work on formatting 100%. You got your GitHub, you got your LinkedIn, portfolio site that, that seems like I would take this portfolio site and put that over here yeah I mean this looks good this looks fine just make some changes fix that grammar 
organize your skills a little bit more. T tell me that this is a skills section. It's obvious that it is, but like you have this is personal projects and this is work experience. So it doesn't like why doesn't this one have a skills section? So that's what I would do. Make these changes. Thanks for sending it in. I appreciate you. Next up, we got Henrique. Okay, so I really like this type. Before I was like blurring everything out. Like everything, everything here looks pretty good. Um, no real complaints. There's just a couple things I would, I would, I would optimize here. For example, you have your email. If you're gonna send this as a PDF, which you did to me, I would have like maybe just a little icon, um, and then have that clickable. For LinkedIn, you have your entire URL here. I would just put LinkedIn and then have that clickable and then have your GitHub, maybe the little font awesome icon here and here. I just have those clickable and this would eliminate a whole a whole lot of space here and then you can move this statement up and just have like a little statement. Um, the statement's a little bit it's a little bit long. Uh, it's a, it's not really technically if we want if we want to nitpick here, it's not a statement. This is two statements. Full stack web dev looking for an opportunity, yeah. So we already know that you're looking for an opportunity because you're applying to opportunities. Um, so I just take that part out. I like your styling here. Yep, education. All right. Um, so in my experience, it's best to move education. Flip flop. Flip flop these two here. Put your experience where your education is. CDSEM overlay tools. All right. So a lot of people aren't going to know what this means if you're applying to web development jobs. Um, I worked in this exact industry as a mechanical engineer. And so I know what wafer techs are, and I know what all this does. Um, but a lot of people, they don't. I don't know what this is. I don't know what your Ivers team is. Um, increase efficiency. What was the outcome of that? I don't necessarily know what the outcome of the increased efficiency was. Uh, generally, none of these are aligned. <laughs> I, I would, I would pick something that if you had anything like like robotics or something like that, um, then I would I would put that. But these, these are kind of unrelated to anything to do with web development. Technologies, yep, you got front end, front end, front end, back end, back end. I, I wouldn't list an API as a technology. Like if you created this API, then I would list that. But other than that, I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. Also, I'd organize these a little bit. You have front end, you have some good stuff front end, and you have some good stuff back end, and then you're up to date with this React. So maybe organize these, section these out, break them apart a little bit, front end, back end. What I would do would, would take the space like hobbies we could leave we can leave hobbies I like it it's short simple gives a little info about you but I would have this to be like option optional because if you're gonna submit to like a startup yeah sure they probably want to get to know you if you're employee number 4567 at job then take that out they just want to know can you do the job down here you have selected courses from like associates of arts Clark College figure out a way to put some projects here. Like where are your personal projects at? I know that if you went to if you went to a code boot camp, you had some code projects. You had to have had some code projects. Like list those here. Relevant projects or something. Stay um also do you have a portfolio? I need to see a portfolio link. I mean you have a GitHub, you have a LinkedIn. What about a website that's hosting all of your projects that you made at Code Boot Camp? Other than that, other than those these things, it's fine. I really like the layout. I like the design. I like the color choices, like a little like gray and black and stuff. I mean, add some personality there. Just make those changes. And uh, thanks for sending it in. All right, so we got John Doe, thebestsite.com, John Doe, one, two, three. Um, this is huge. So let's fix that. This is a little, this takes up like, this is like 20% of a page or maybe 15%. That's still a lot. Fluent technologies. All right, that's good. Organize these. You have two columns. Could you figure out a way to maybe make them two columns, but to like section them out? So you'd have front end, back end, project management, other maybe. That's what I do. Web dev. All right, so education down here at the bottom looks fine. Engineering, drafting, mechanical engineering. I don't know if you graduated or not. GPA, irrelevant. Take that off. I don't know if I would put lynda.com online training library because they might think that you're copying and pasting projects. Consider this. Consider this. If they ask how you learn to code, just say I'm self-taught. That can mean, like, I feel like that might give you more credibility than saying, yeah, I learned from Udemy or wh wherever, right? And you copy and paste stuff. Don't say that. I mean, unless you feel comfortable or think that the job you're applying to is like, yeah, we respectful, like self-educated, whatever degree optional, then go ahead and put that. If it, corporate company, be careful. Fluent technologies and fluent languages, and they're on separate parts of the page. 
All right, so first of all, we need to fix that. Put these languages with your technologies and figure out how to organize them. And yeah, you could maybe put the space together. Let's look at your objective here. All right, this can all go. This entire first sentence can go. This is what you'd put on your cover letter. Have an insatiable drive to identify problems, proactively find solutions, and build efficient work processes. My ideal environment is working by myself as part of a team that works together toward a common goal. I get what you're saying. It's just a little bit, it's a little bit fluff. Like, I like this sentence here in the middle. The rest of this just kind of like, sounds like you're trying to use a lot of corporate words and you're applying to software development jobs. Like, these people are pretty chill, pretty down to earth. You don't have to, unless you're applying to like a super, super corporate company, I would figure out a way to say that in a more simple way. Can I get a link to this tool? What, like, this looks cool. Can I get a link? Can I see it? This is this whole thing here is what you would put on your cover letter. You would be like, about me, like on your cover letter, you'd have a little section that would be like, in my previous work experience, I did, and then you would insert this entire, like these two paragraphs. Make this into bullet points of like what you actually did. Technologies used, that's pretty sweet. I like that, leave that there. But I would figure out a way to simplify this. Like, I don't, I, you worked on both front and back end. Figure out a way to optimize this into bullet points and use action verbs. I don't want to, to read a paragraph like I don't want to read your cover letter as a paragraph and then read your resume as a paragraph like just I just want to see what you can do and what you did and the outcomes of what you did uh, one other thing you don't have a github link on here you, technologies use git and github and no github link so if you just put this in black and remove this huge blue bar in its entirety I would be totally okay with that because you had a whole bunch of blue and white down here I, I, mean, I get the color contrast because you want it to fit but I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, everything here is fine. Um, but make make these changes and then put these put those together, fluent technologies, fluent languages. Um, then I think you'll be good. So thanks for sending it in. All right, next up we got Nathan here. Okay, so this is a uh, red and blue. Those are very very bright colors. Typically, you would use one of them with something else that's more neutral. So this whole red and blue thing is a little bit distracting first off when I look um, also this color red it doesn't match it doesn't match this color red those are two different colors this is a really dark red and this is a little bit faded so right off the bat like I'm looking at it like I see it but it'd be cool if you used blue and black or red and black also these huge huge horizontal raises here those need to be slimmed down and you need to create some padding um, yeah, I would literally just take this top sentence off, just use the bottom one. I'm a software engineer with a mathematical background who also has an analytical and artistic mind. What are you passionate about? What do you like to do? I am with a math background who enjoys analytics and creating something. What 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 do you like to do? Like this is hello, my name is Josh. Maybe think a little bit more into to that sentence. Education at the top, why is that at the top? Skills go here. Relevant coursework goes there. Education comes way, way down here, right above your leadership um, skills, HTML, CSS, proficient. Okay, look, I talked about this before in another video. Maybe you didn't watch that one, but literally never put this. What does proficient? Proficient to someone else means different to, to another person. Proficient to me means like, all right, we'll make this thing from scratch. And you're like, well, I only know how to do this. Well, that's not what proficient means. You're eliminating yourself before someone else has a chance to do it. Because this, this is so subjective. It's like, good. It's like reading this saying, I'm good at Java. Well, what, well, what does that mean? Really, what does that mean? So eliminate these. Don't grade yourself. Let someone else figure out where you're at with the code test. You're still doing it. Experienced in SQL proficient. Experienced in MATLAB less than a year. Experienced in programming. And then you grade yourself. You've graded yourself twice here. Remove that. You can't put proficient in robot C less than a year and then up here put proficient. So you're putting less than a year is proficient to you. And so the rest of these that we were talking about earlier just became less than a year. That's what that really means. TA zip file application. All right, so you got links. These, these are huge URLs. Like you don't need to put these URLs, dude. Just make this a clickable link. Make this a clickable link, clickable link, clickable link. All right, just let me click on it. Oh, okay. Let me just see what this is about. And then it takes you to this URL. I don't know about this, this hackathon. Unless you were like the winner of the hackathon but participated, you don't get a trophy for, for participation, became proficient in Vue.js. There's a lot of the use of the word proficient in here, on this resume. 
I don't think I would put that. I would just put like learned Vue.js. Developed skills in Vue.js if you want to put something similar. Created the business nice. Implemented, created, built, created, assisted, but then you put became proficient. Uh, I, you gotta, we gotta figure out a different word to use there. You have your website, you have your GitHub. Where's your LinkedIn? Can I get that LinkedIn? Put that LinkedIn like right there. You have a website, yeah. So that that'd be cool. And then you're doing the same thing kind of here. You got your, uh, you got your URLs. I would just make this a link, make that a link, and then just LinkedIn, and then have that be a link. That'll work. I like this. Uh, this is this is cool. This this application. What if I had a link to it? Can I can I see it? Can I check it out? Like sounds pretty neat. You got a cool description here. Um, this first sentence. I don't know if that would. I think you'd have any chance to explain what it is when you get the interview, but I would just keep it action oriented verbs. Currently is pushed and being evaluated. Um, you get to explain that when you get the interview, uh, but we need to make this a little bit more uniform. Some indention here needs to bring that back. And then here, and then you have an even more indented. So try to like keep this aligned, keep that left aligned, keep this left aligned here, bring all these back here, here, here. The content you have here is good. You're already in the, the, the industry. You're already working. You already have experience. You're already making stuff. Um, I maybe would change intern to junior, right? The difference between intern and junior is that you have an end point on your contract. You can still be a junior contract engineer, you know? Um, I mean, this doesn't look like intern stuff. This looks pretty complicated. I think this is good though. Nathan, I appreciate you. Thanks for sending it in.